so welcome to another video. I'm parked up in the van um, just along from the Devil's Staircase um, in Glencoe and I'm hoping to do a couple of Monroes tomorrow. The weather forecast is really good. So um, book a let of more, uh, that's Stob Jerig, and then the second Monroe further along the ridge, Stob Nabroy. When I started my Monroes, in 1991 there was only 277 Monroes so there's been several um, promoted to Monroes since then and one of them is Stobnabroy at the very end of the ridge that runs from Stobjerig or Bukulet of Moor. So I'm 99% sure I've done it. I do remember going along the ridge but there's that little tiny bit of doubt that I think, ah, oh, I don't want to cheat. <laughs> I don't want to say I've done all my Monroes and I haven't. So I've come up um, to park up in the van and hopefully do Book a Let of More again, Stop Jerig and Stop Nabroy. Night night. So I've made my way along the Larig Garten, um, so it's a right of way from Glencoe to Glenetted and this is the bit where the path splits here, so that would be the way to carry on up the Larig, but I'm going this way over the river and up to the Bulac there. So um, I'm climbing um, Stob Nabroi first, that's the Monroe, I'm not sure if I've done, I think I've done it, but um, I'm just going to do it again to be on the safe side. And once I've done Stobna Broy, I'm going to come back down to this Bielak here, this Bielak here, and then go along the ridge to Stob Jerig, and then um, down the gully, um, and then back along the road to the van. I decided to go this way for a number of reasons. I'm parked right at the start of this track. And also, um, it's a Sunday and the weather's uh, really good today. And I can already see the sort of main car park um, for the Bucolet of Moor. And I can see it really busy already. So I've not met anybody. There's some campers um, further along in the Glen. But uh, I've not met anybody. So hopefully I'll get the summit to myself and then I'll meet everybody else going the other way when I'm going along the ridge. Um, but it's just a lovely morning, absolutely beautiful, um, so really nice. So I'm going to make my way down here and cross this river. So I'll bring you back later.
So as you can see, we've gained a bit of height. I'm absolutely sweating. It's a really good path, mostly like this, all the way up. I think there's a, a bit of mild scrambling further up. But another reason I came this route is that this route of ascent is in the shade. And it faces in a more westerly direction, whereas the traditional route up, um, Job Jerig um, goes up the gully and um, I remember doing it mid-June 30 years ago and it was absolutely roasting and the sun was reflecting off the scree and there was no wind at all so um, I'd imagine it'll be a pretty tough ascent for that reason today so it's really nice I'm completely in the shade um, there's no breeze no midges there's midges further down in the glen but um, it's just lovely, I've not met anybody, I don't see anybody else coming up. And I can see, um, I don't know if you'll see it, but um, that's Bucoletta Beg. Um, so I think that's um, Stob Do up there and I can see um, someone up there. You'll probably not see it with the GoPro, but I can see someone up there. Um, and earlier on I saw people um, at the Bilac. So it's just lovely. Lovely, lovely. And you can see traffic away down on the A82. Um, it was a busy road, even last night. Um, right through the night, every time a car passed, it woke me up. So I've not had a great sleep. But it's just lovely today. So I'm going to keep going. Heading up here. Up this way. And I'll bring you back later. Wow, what a view. Wow, oh, you can see Loch Etiv down there, and I think that up there is Stobnabroy, the Monroe I'm heading for. And I've got that to go up as well. That's just a top. There's a couple on the top just now. Oh, so, oh, I wish I could say that's most of the hard work done, but that up there looks tough. <laughs> so I'm heading up here. So 
we get a good view of uh, Stob Jerig now, way over there. And we've got to get over that. Oh, these views are amazing. There's the Blackwater Reservoir, way over there. And you can see all the cars parked at Alnafe, just at the bottom of the Devil's Staircase. It looks heaving. <laughs> and that's Bukalet of Beg, the ridge, Stob Cor Rainach, and Stob Du, and Bidian, Nambian behind. And over there, oops, over there, the Anakegich Ridge. And you can actually see way out to the hills in Argour as well. Wow! Ben Starav is way over there. It's got a, a shape, a bit like a saddle. Wow! So that's our target, way over there, that's the Monroe I'm heading for. So that was our ascent route there, and I'm at the Bilak again, and I've got that beast to go up, and it's so hot, it's about quarter past twelve, so I don't need to do stop Jerig, but um, I think it'd be good for the legs, good for some exercise, so I'm going to head up, we'll see how I go on, but uh, just lovely, and that's the Monroe I've come down off, Stob Nabroi. As I say, about quarter past twelve, I had a really long lunch break. Um, it's just nice sitting without being in a rush. So you can see the cars are parked down there, so the van will be down there somewhere. But um, I think the hill's really busy. I can see loads of people on that summit up there. So I'll bring you back later. So that's Stop Nabroi over there. That's where I've come from. That's where I had my lunch. Obviously, locative down there, you can actually see out to sea. And I think that's um, Mull over there. And that actually might be the Paps of Jura I can see. Wow, really clear. So I've managed to get up to this top here. That was a steep pool, but I actually uh, kept meeting people because obviously people are going in the opposite direction. So I've been yakking there. Uh, to various groups of people and I've met three people that I know 
So, a busy hill. Yeah. Wow. Stop Jerry over there. Still a long way to go. How awesome does Stop Jerig look? And it's so red, I like its name. Jerig is uh, Gaelic for red. Wow. So this looks a bit kind of flattish along here. And I think that's the Bialach there that you come up um, to and then up there. So getting there. Um, 20, nearly 22. So I've met so many people, I've yaked so much. <laughs> Just taking my time. <laughs> wow, Chihalian. There's Ranuk Moor there and Chihalian's the pointy one way in the distance. And these are the Monroe's um, from Glencoe Ski Centre. So Mila Fury and Chris. Oh, wow. I think all the tops are clear. It's just such a fab day. What a day to be in the hills. And I can see my final Monroe looking stunning over there. Carmel Jerich. Wow. So I'll soldier on along this ridge and uh, I'll be bringing you back at the Bialy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's the route of descent. Oh. Very steep. And you can see Alton Fay down there where the cars are parked, so I've got to head down there. And I'm going to go up there first. So that's Stop Jerig. Cool. Realize how big Ranuk Moor is. Oh my goodness. So I've negotiated that path, or sort of a path, coming right down from there. But you've got to be super careful. There's lots of loose um, rock. And I'm hoping it improves a wee bit down there. But uh, yeah, I think it's probably worse going down than coming up. But we'll keep going. I'm not going to film much, obviously, because I need to keep my wits about me. But um, the weather's still lovely. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely. So I'll keep going. So that 
gets me back in the van. I'm knackered, it's so hot. So um, that was a really steep descent. But it was a pretty good path to avoid walking on the road. Um, it followed the, the roadway, so that was good. And yeah, it's been another great day. And no more seeds of doubt. That's me definitely only got two minerals to go. I'm still not sure I did that one before, but I've done it now. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.